Okay guys, so today we're going to be continuing with our chapter 10 topic of entrepreneurs and innovation. Okay. Okay. Right, so warm-ups. Can you say red lorry, yellow lorry? Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Starts a business with a new idea, makes it grow, 
and takes the risk of failure, okay? In general, entrepreneurs prefer to be their own bosses. The entrepreneurial spirit is a positive attitude towards risking time and money in order to find new and better ways of doing business. This refers to changes made to make a process more efficient. Okay, I think you guys knew this already. So let's just recap the present perfect tense. Do you guys know what the present perfect tense is? Yeah. Yes? Okay, right. So, can you read this out for us? Hey, 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 can you read out the first line? Yeah. Number one. Yeah, perfect. 
Alright, good job. You guys got some sentences? Using C 
signal words, okay? So can you all say, we're a new company, but we've already grown a lot.
Hey guys, practice speaking, come on, speak, speak. Guys, practice.
the senior living community. Now let's paraphrase. 40 million USD was invested in the development of a new senior living community. Here you see we changed invested to was invested, active to passive. And again, this is one more way to help us paraphrase more effectively. For all this talk about synonyms, changing grammar structures, or changing the form of the words, sometimes it's easy to simply just change the word stand in the sentence. Let's take a look at the example. The line graph below shows the consumption of four kinds of meat in the European country from 1979-2004. Now we can paraphrase by simply changing where the word stand in the sentence, we can get the line graph below shows how four different kinds of meat were consumed over a 25-year period in one European country. As you can see, not only did I change the order of the words, which had a dramatic effect on how the question was read, but I also changed the main word from the active to the passive. And this leads us to our final thing. Typically relying on one technique to do your paraphrasing is doable, but can often be a little bit stressful, difficult, not very effective. For best results, I recommend using two or three different techniques at the same time. For example, combining synonyms with changing the word order or the grammar structures can have a dramatic effect on your paraphrasing skills. To wrap up, here are our top five paraphrasing techniques. We can use synonyms. We can change the word form. We can change the grammar structures from active to passive. We can change the order of the words. And remember, for best results, it's always recommended to Two to three different techniques at the same time. If you'd like to upgrade. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, one last thing. I just want to. Uh, so, yeah, so because we're finishing soon, I uh, want us to do a final kind of exam to make up the rest of your mark. So, it's going to be a two minute research presentation. You can choose either nature or innovation, the new topic. Okay, um, and then I'll give you more details about that next week. I just wanted to let you know. Um, and then, yeah, I want you to present them in class, or you can record yourselves doing them, and I can mark them that way as well, okay? So it just depends on how much time we have, etc. okay? But yeah, I think that will cover us today. I'll see you next week. Have a good weekend! Okay. Yeah.